Hey guys, I've got a traffic source for you today. This one is epic. It's a really big source of traffic, so I think you're going to love it. I'm going to run you through the stats so you can decide for yourself if this is something that you want to use. So let's go ahead. Let's go to similar web. So here we are. And you can see that the global rank is 55,000. It's pretty good. The country rank USA is 15,000. This is really good stuff. I actually think, according to Similar Web, this was founded in 1997, so it's been around a long time now. So if we have a look at the traffic overview, here you can see it's got over a million visitors consistently every single month. According to Similar Web, we're going to check it in Rank 2 traffic as well. And let's have a look at traffic by countries. This is exactly what we want to see. So USA, UK, Canada. The big three most profitable traffic sources right there. So 61% from the United States, 7% from the UK, 5% from Canada, 2% from Germany, 1% from Vietnam, which is unusual to see in our traffic sources, isn't it? Let's have a look at where these visitors are coming from. So 55% is direct, 7% from referrals. 22% from search engine, so it's performing pretty well in Google, and 13% from social. So here it tells us that this is getting a heavy dose of organic traffic, which is really good for us. So let's scroll down to search. So of search, of that 22%, 100% is organic, which is really good. So let's go to rank two traffic. Here you can see that the traffic levels are kind of up and down, but the minimum is around a million. So 950,000 at the lowest point. So it's pretty good. So the highest peak is almost 2 million a month. So let's check the last six months. There you can see it's been pretty consistent. So that tells us that if we were to use this traffic source, the results that we would expect to get, should we be accepted on this traffic source and everything's, everything goes as it should go, then the traffic we receive should be fairly consistent. So we can, we can bring that into our marketing strategy because we know that the results will be fairly reliable. So that's why we check this stuff. So let's go to the website. It's called techdirt.com. You might already know about this one. It's a huge website. And if you can put like, like a, a tech angle on your stuff or your story, then you've, you'll probably find a really good home on this website to publish content. So let's have a look. What we've what we've got here. So we've got tech dirt there. We've got free speech, deals, jobs, support tech dirt. So this tells us. So the fact that these guys are monetizing their website with with deals. So if we click click on that. Excuse me. Tells us. Look, this is buyers traffic. This is buying traffic. So the people here. Oops, how do I get rid of that? Oh, all these little pop-ups since uh, GDPR and the EU going a bit mental with uh, regulations and laws and stuff. It's crazy, isn't it? It kind of ruins the, the surfing experience to some extent. So because there's deals, they're selling stuff on this website, it tells us that the traffic here is actually profitable. They've got credit cards to spend. They are spending money because Tech Dirt wouldn't invest time and resources into building this section unless it was profitable for them. And you can see the price range. <laughs> There's that annoying pop up again. So here you can see that the the average price of things that they're selling isn't crazy, right? It's really cheap, like forty nine bucks for a product. 29 bucks, 49 bucks there. It's really cheap stuff, right? Okay, there's one for, for around 200 bucks there. 
but that's a lifetime subscription to something. Okay. So that tells us that this is profitable. Pretty good source, right? So let's have a look at the actual content. So at the top here, it's all about stuff from tech dirt already. So uh, the most, the funniest, most insightful comments of the week. So this is real community building. I like that. And then this week in tech dirt history. So it's going, going back through the archive. Excuse me while I, need a drink there um yeah it's going back through the archive to see to see look at that five years ago so if you publish content on here it seems like they're going to continue to promote that over and over again through the years which is really nice so the actual content uh this was published a few days ago so it looks like it's regularly updated so record uh, records request show even more California police departments start destroying records before the public gets hands on them. So it's a little bit political, but it's still kind of in the, the area of tech, isn't it? And then Minnesota. So if you spend a bit of time, have a look through the content. You've also got a sidebar here that's got actually shows you everything they've pub been publishing so a lot of the stuff is tech heavy so if you can put a, a tech angle on what you're doing and because you're on the internet and you have a website it should be pretty easy right i've actually used tech dirt in the past but when i've used it i've gone for the political angle so you might you might try that as well so if we scroll right down to the bottom here, you're going to see a few options. The one that we're really interested in here is submit a story. Now you can buy sponsorship and advertise if you want to. It is a good source of traffic. It checks all the right boxes for us. But if you don't want, if you don't want to do that, click submit a story just like that. Give this a really good read. Make sure that you spend the time to go through the the uh, what they're actually looking for. So it says tech dirt doesn't work in a vacuum. We thrive off the, off the story submissions of our readers. To submit a story, fill out the form below. Be sure to include the URL of the site you're appointing us to. It's really important so you'll be able to link to your own site. Okay, we're going to check in a minute if those links are do follow or no, or no follow. Excuse me, I can't speak today. It doesn't really matter either way, right? But it's still nice to know. So here you can put in your name, email address, your homepage. So it says we may link to your homepage. That could be a good thing to, to include as well. So you can link to multiple sites. Choose the closest topic. So if we look at these topics just as niches, right? So, oh, they've actually expanded this since the last time I gave this a serious look. So it looks like they've, they're have going a little bit outside of the scope of technology now, which is really nice. So they're starting to include more, more variety on what they're publishing, which is brilliant for us, right? Okay, the subject. This is going to be really important because that's what's going to get them to open the, the, the email. This will be sent as an email. So the subject, you, you got to have an emotional trigger in there. Go through my other videos if you need to, to find like the psychological hooks and stuff that, that pull people in. I tend to use rubbernecking a lot. If you have a look through some of, some of my emails that I send out, you'll see that I start with a high drama, tense moment. And maybe that's what you want to include too, because that grabs them. There has to be a payoff though. So if you don't have a payoff in it, it just becomes clickbait, right? So you, you need to have that payoff. So the subject can make a big promise, have a big hook, something something that really grabs their attention and makes, them, makes it stand out amongst all the other submissions that they get. Then the link 
to your story. So there you would link to the content on your website. Again, I would make sure that that has got plenty of emotional hooks and triggers in there. So really, I mean, Tech Dirt is going to get lots of submissions every day. So you want you want to stand out amongst everyone else. So the subject has to be good and the story itself has to good has to be good. It needs that emotional aspect to it. People resonate with with stories that carry emotion and make people feel emotion. That's why we share stuff on social media, right? So your aunt Janice, she might have posted, she might be always posting something on on uh, Facebook and sharing these these things that make your eyes roll, right? We've all got we've all got that. Well, she's she's doing that because the, that content that she finds triggers an emotion, and she wants you to feel that emotion too. She wants all her friends on Facebook to feel what she feels. That's why we share stuff. That's why social media is so powerful. So you want to make sure that the content you share has got those those emotional triggers built in. So people want to share it. So whoever reads this, when the editor looks at this submission, he you want him to turn to whoever's next to him and say, check this out. That's the that's the emotion, that's the, the kind of rubbernecking effect we want to inject into our content. If you want me to make more videos about creating the right type of content and using emotional hooks and all that stuff, I'm happy to do that. And here in the scoop, you tell them what it is and why they need to publish it. And it's as simple as that. Then you, you do your, uh, I'm not a robot check thing to verify you're human, submit a story, good to go. Okay, let's have a look at stories that have already been published. So let's find something that that has plenty of links to other websites. Excuse me while I have another drink. So this might be it. Okay, this links to the appeal.org. Excuse me. So if we do right click inspect element, There we can see, oops, what's going on there? The page encountered a problem. Let's try again. Maybe I've got too many tabs open. Inspect element. Okay. Ahref. That's a do follow. So that's going to pass link juice. So if you get published on here, that's going to really boost your search engine rank because I know that Tech Dirt is a high authority domain name. So passes it passes link juice do follow. We need both, right? We need a mix of no follow and do follow. But hey, do follows are you know are, are the the better of the two, obviously. So it's pretty good. But listen, this is just one traffic source, and to really grow a brand online, we need multiple sources, don't we? So for that reason, I'm going to give you a completely free training course when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic you learn how to drive highly targeted traffic to your website for free hey guys you got to check out this traffic source it is crazy high it's one of the most popular websites on the planet i'm going to show you how to use it for free how to siphon traffic and credibility and authority from this website and redirect it or siphon it towards your own website it's epic. I've personally used this to get large volumes of traffic to my websites. It's easier than you think. You've probably already heard of this website, but I'm, I'm going to show you two ways of using it, two different ways to use it for free. So let's go to similar web. Let's have a look at the stats. But before we do, let me tell you some of the background on this. So this website was actually started in 1988 as a zine. So way before the web, it started in 1988 and then it became a website in 1995. And then in the year 2000, it became a blog. So if we think about the history of this platform, of this brand, it's amassed a huge loyal following. So let's go have a look at the stats and you can decide for yourself if this is one for you. So it might not be right. You decide for yourself. 
So here we are in similar web. And as you can see, the global rank is 6,900. That's epic, right? Country rank is 1,800. Really impressive stuff here. It is one of the biggest sites on the planet. Traffic overview is, well, we can see it's like 9 million visitors every single month. So we want to put ourselves and our content in front of these people. So traffic by countries. Look at this. United States, Canada, UK. That's exactly what we want to see. We want to see United States as number one, UK or Canada as second and third. Doesn't really matter as long as we have this kind of pattern here. So we've got those countries in the top three with the USA in prime position. So 58% from the USA, 6% from Canada, 5% from the United Kingdom, 2% from Germany, 2% from Australia. So that's perfect. Very profitable traffic. And we are going to siphon some of this. So traffic sources. This is a really good indication that we're dealing with organic traffic. So 59%, sorry, 49%, excuse me, 49% direct, 8% referral, 23% from search, 17% from social. So fantastic. This is really good for us because this is an indication that it's not paid traffic. So because it's organic traffic, it's loyal traffic. It's more profitable traffic because so I'm not knocking advertising at all. It's amazing for that quick uh, cash injection. Once you find your break even point, of course, you know, you, you're going to make revenue fast through advertising. But long term, long term strategy, organic traffic is where you want to be because that is the most profitable. It's the most loyal. And the reason for that is because it's people who are actively seeking you out through the search engines. So they're typing in keywords that, that you are being positioned for. So they're actively seeking you out or they're finding you through recommendations from friends and family, people who they trust. So they're going to trust you. Some of that trust is going to flow in that recommendation. Whereas with advertising, which does work and it is an amazing way to get revenue fast. Let me make that clear. But you're also competing with a whole heap of other marketers who are promoting similar products and similar offers. So if someone opts into your squeeze page, chances are because of, because of the way the Facebook algorithm works for adverts, it's probably showing that that advert amongst like a whole heap of other adverts and the people who opt into your email list hop into you know dozens of other people's email list, maybe even hundreds, and you're competing with all these other people. So when it comes to traffic, that's why I say organic traffic is probably the best and that's where you want to be. So let's have a look at what's going on with this site. Going to see from search 23% of that. And 99.99% is organic. Really good for us. Let's have a look at social media. So look at that. So 17% from social media. Of that 17%, 56 is from Facebook. 22 from Twitter. 17 from Reddit. Love Reddit. 1% from YouTube. And 0.44 from LinkedIn. So... This is a really good sign that content is being shared on Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, all, all the best ones. And then display advertising, 0.37, practically nothing. They're investing a little bit in uh, display advertising. That's okay because the majority of the traffic coming to the site is organic. So we want to step in front of these people, don't we? So that's looking really good let's head to rank to traffic to see what they report about the site so here you can see 
7 million, 8 million, 9 million, 7 million. Pretty high traffic levels that we want to be paying attention to over the last six months. Pretty steady there. 8 million, 7 million, 8 million. Yeah, pretty consistent traffic levels. And then by country, there we can see again. So the USA leading the traffic there, followed by the UK, Canada, Germany, Australia. All matches up with similar web. 26% from uh, search, 63% direct, and then 10% referrals. Good stuff. Let's go check out the website. So it is called boeingboeing.net. You've heard of this site. Everyone has heard this <laughs> heard of this site. Right? And I've personally used this site to get huge amounts of traffic because what tends to happen is when you get featured on this site, other sites pick up the story too. So it's a good way to get on FARC, on BuzzFeed, all the big viral sites. So submitting content to this site is really easy, but I'm going to show you two ways to use it because the first way you're going to be lucky if you get featured on here from the word go. So you're going to have to try multiple times, try different combinations. I'm going to show you what to look for to give you the best possible chance today. But being a realist, right, we need a backup. So chances of getting featured on the front page, imagine how much traffic that's going to get you. But if you if you don't get featured on the front page, which which is likely, right? I'm going to show you another way to get traffic. So don't worry. Okay, we've got two ways to use this site. So what I want you to have a look at is the content. I want you to study the content and see that each of these these headlines and they're not particularly clickbaity, right? But have a look at the structure of the headlines. You can see that they've got psychological triggers in the headline. So if you're submitting content on here, you too want to make sure that you have got an emotional hook, an emotional trigger in the headline. You want to make sure that your content is something unique, original, and something that will be of interest to a wider demographic. I mean, sure, look at this. We've got these tags. So here we've got, it looks like categories. They're actually just tags. So forensic, funny, we scroll now, Zuckerberg type. Then these are kind of added on the fly, I think. So we've got lots of different types of content that appeals to multiple different niches on here. But if you're contributing content on here, make sure that it has has that that viral feel to it so it's something unique it's something that they've probably not seen before if you're happy to do that click the submit button here you can put in your name your email address a short summary short link summary then the url and then some details tell them why they need to share this why it's important for their community and man they've got such a huge community let me show you something so I'm not going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to leave that up to you and your discretion to decide if this is something that you want to explore. So let's say you're not having any joy with getting on the front page, which is likely. Right? What do we do? Well, I'm going to show you a second way to use it. So if we click on menu, we have this drop down thing. Notice this. So we've got a few options here. So if you really want to get on the site, you can just advertise. I'm going to assume that you don't want to do that just yet, but we've got forums. Now, let me show you the forums. Also, check out the rules because the, ro the rules are important if you decide to use this. So let me open that in a new tab. Let's go to the forums. Let me show you those. So you can see I've already got an account set up. It's really simple. It's just one of those social media integration things. So if you've got a Facebook account or a Twitter account, you, you've practically got an account on here as well. You just click a button and authorize it. It's so simple. So what I want you to have a look at. So even though it's not on the front page, have a look at the number of views 
these posts are getting. So this five minutes ago, 500 views, eight minutes, 300 views, 20 minutes, 83,000 views, 83,000. Okay, we don't really need front page position, do we? So this one, 200 views, 500. Thousand. I'm not entirely sure when when these were posted, but still, look, huge amounts of traffic. It's a really active, high traffic platform. Even the community is just jumping with activity, right? As you can see, in the time since we've landed on this page, you can see that two, two new updates have happened in that time. So this is high traffic. This is crazy high. So check this out. Look at all categories because there's actually, again, a strategy here as well. We don't want to be just posting random links. You know, not that I'm suggesting you would. I know you don't do that stuff because that's just spammy, right? I know you won't do that. So look at all categories. See this drop down menu. We've got different sections here, but have a look at this links and it says interesting stuff on the web not an official submission queue for boeing boeing that's cool click on that and here you can post links to your stuff make sure that the content is relevant that it's it's a value to the community we don't want to be spamming right i think we've already established that you don't do that so contribute your best stuff make sure it's still got an emotional hook people will want to want to read it want to share it and as you can see here even this section gets a lot of views so we want to take advantage of that don't we okay before you do this before you start publishing on here let me show you something here we've got terms of service and you know the guidelines and it says be cool okay you've already got that that's like a huge check you're good but look at this don't post email addresses phone numbers right? but look at this do not post url shortened links that obscure the target so if you're using bitly link don't do it make sure that you have like the naked url visible so people clicking can see exactly where that link is going to take them so no hidden links on this platform otherwise it probably won't be approved it might be deleted you might lose your account and listen if you can't use this site for whatever reason take it up with the the uh, support team on this platform i don't i can't provide that kind of help to individuals but listen this is just one platform right and we need multiple sources if we really want to grow online we need to diversify our traffic sources so for that reason i'm going to help you find a whole heap of untapped traffic sources in your niche so you're getting targeted traffic when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic sign up for free grab that for free it's not going to cost you a penny hey guys i've got a huge source of traffic for you today no one else is talking about this untapped traffic source it is top secret. I'm going to run you through how to use it. But listen, I've not used it myself. I've just discovered it right now and I thought I have to share it with you. I've checked that it has got do follow links. This is a high authority website. I think the domain authority is something like 92. It's crazy high, right? So let's go have a look at similar web, see the traffic levels. It's insane. And you will be able to decide if this is the right traffic source for you. So here we are in similar web, the global rank. Look at this. This is one of the highest traffic sources I have ever shared, but no one is talking about it. So the global rank is 677. The global rank, uh, sorry, the country rank, the United States rank is 1,300. That's amazing, right? This is huge. Look at the traffic overview. We have got 52 million visits a month. Imagine that. Imagine if you get your content 
on the front page of this website. Imagine how much traffic is going to flood to your website. I mean, let's let's check it. So 50 million, 51 million visits a month, down to 45 million. 51 down, up again, 52 million visits a month. But where is this traffic coming from? So traffic by countries, look at this, 11% from the USA, then Brazil, India, China, Russia. That's okay, because the United States is top. That is the most profitable traffic we can hope to get. So let's have a look at the traffic sources. 54% is direct, 9% from referrals, 17% from search. That's a really good indication. And 15% from social. So this tells us that most of the traffic on this website is organic which is the most profitable type of traffic to have. So we've got traffic from the USA and it's organic traffic at that. So this tells us that the traffic here is really profitable. It's really valuable traffic. Let's have a look at the search. So we want to see, okay, we're close. Of 17 of that search, for the, the traffic that comes from the search, excuse me, 17% is is via search. So of that 17%, 99.98% is organic. So it's close to 100%. It's a really good indication. So 0.2% is paid, which is practically nothing when we compare it to this 99% organic. Good stuff. So let's go double check things in rank two traffic. Look at that. Okay, so way back in 2009, we can see that it's got around, it starts with 200,000 visits a month, increases to a million, continues to increase to 9 million in 2011, and then continues on this upward trend to 2013, which is 18 million. Then another massive leap in 2013, end of 2013 to 36 million. Starts to decline a little bit. Now, let, let me say something about your own progress. I notice that a lot of my students who start to get traction, uh, obviously, the, they're ecstatic with that. But what happens is some of my students, when they get this traction, there is eventually like a drop. And this, this is natural. It happens with everything you do on the Internet. It's perfectly normal. This is a really good example of that. So here you can see things shoot up there to 36 million visits a month. And then it drops down to 25, 22 million visits a month. Now, at this point around here, a lot of people, marketers, bloggers, content creators will think things are going wrong and they might be tempted to jump ship or give up or or try something new at this point. But as you can see, when we look at the bigger picture, what's happening, things are, are actually increasing and they're going they're going to become better than before. So this little dip. We call it the dip. We all experience this. So I've actually been waiting to, to come across a good example of a high traffic website that can show you this in action. And I'm, I'm really pleased to have found it today. So you will see this kind of progress in your own business and your own website. And that's normal. But look, this website doesn't give up. They don't call it a day. They, they don't quit. They continue. They push through the dip and then they eventually come out better than they were before at uh, 46 million visits a month. Imagine that. Imagine how much traffic that is. You know, a couple of days ago, I was at the O2 in London and there was 20,000 people there. I was looking at, at the 20,000 people. I'm thinking, OK, in terms of Internet traffic. Put, I, tr I was trying to put that into perspective of like if my channel at the moment has got around 130,000 views 
So trying to quantify that, but if you imagine how many how many people that is, 46 million people have visited this website in a single month and then climb up to 68 million in 2017 and then it comes down again. It looks like things are on the decline and they're starting to level out a bit here at around 50 million. But I'm going to predict that if we come back to this website in a few years, this figure of 50 million is is going to be dwarfed by the amount of traffic this site gets. So let's have a look at the last six months. So there you can see 50, 51 million down to 47 million visits a month. And it's pretty much a straight line. It's fairly consistent. So it's a good source for us. We can see that traffic, generally speaking, is increasing and it's increasing it at a pretty solid rate as well. So let's go check out the website. It's a bit of an unusual one. You won't hear many people talking about this. In fact, I've never heard anyone in our industry mention this before, but I have to share it with you. So let's go to the website. This is called behance.net. So B E H A N C E.net. And it is for creative people, but don't let that put you off if you're not creative. I've got, I've got a strategy for you that's going to help you to, to really get results from this. So it's going to allow creative people and you, if you're not creative, don't worry, to showcase and discover creative work. So what I want you to, to look at is the top navigation here. We can discover live jobs. So if you want to make some money, you'll be able to find some jobs there. We can sign up with email or Facebook or Google, which we're going to do in a few minutes, not just yet. But we've got a search feature here. Oop, accidentally click that so we can search by keyword. Let's go back to the home page. We've got a drop down menu here. So there's additional apps and services available. And you'll notice that this is by Adobe. This is from Adobe. So it is for creatives and uh, people who, who want to showcase their work. But don't worry, it's good for everybody. I'll show you how. Have a look at this. So we can choose how we view it. So best of Behance. I hope I. I'm pronouncing that properly. I might not be. I know some of my pronunciations aren't always on point. So we can choose by best of, or we'll look at curated gal galleries, creative tools, schools and organizations. But this is what I really want you to pay attention to. Have a look at the content here on the front page. So as you can see, it's all image based stuff, a little bit like Pinterest, right? So if we have a look at one of these, let's click on that. Go down. Where can we find it? Look at the views that this has had. So 4,622 views, 500 thumbs up, 32 comments. And it was published a couple of days ago. Not bad, right? I mean, if we, if we just hover over the images, there we can see that this one has had over 2,000 views. This one has had over 2,000, almost 3,000 views. If we go down, 7,000 views, 4,000, 5,000, again, 5,000. So high traffic website. Look, look at that, 9,000 views, over 10,000 views on this one. But let me show you something else. So if we click this notice something here so this is a link and this is another link so these are two separate links look at this if we go to inspect element we can see that this link is just linking to the creator's homepage and it is a do follow link so this is going to pass a huge amount of link juice. And then if we have a look at the other link, it's pointing to a completely different website. Let me show you that inspect element. 
As you can see, it's a separate website. And again, that's passing link juice. It is a do follow link. So just imagine how much traffic these websites are receiving from this free exposure. It's crazy, right? So how would you use this if you are not creative? Well, you can easily hire someone to create a piece of art for you that will get that has the potential to get featured here. So how do we use this site? So if we go sign up, I'm going to use the Facebook integration thingy. And that was a painless process, really quick and easy. So now it's asking me to pick one or more topics and this will help us recommend creative work you'll love. Okay, cool. So what am I interested in? Advertising. It's a no brainer, right? So I'm just going to go with no, <laughs> with uh, advertising and then see my custom feed. Let's click on that. Now I can see examples of good adverts and look at this logo design. This one has got 31,000 views. Let's check this out. Look, that's amazing, right? Whoever uploaded this was very smart and they, they have put a link to their website and their email address there. Let's just actually triple confirm that we're getting do follow links here. So let's have a look at that again. Yep, there you can see that is a do follow link. Amazing exposure. This is one of the best traffic sources I have ever shared for free. It's not the best one. I keep the best ones inside the traffic secrets course, but this is a pretty good one too. So I'm going to assume that to post on this, we just hit create a project, loading project editor. This all feels very fancy. So we can upload files, add text, embed media, Lightroom photos. I actually have uh, Lightroom installed on my Mac. So maybe that will integrate with, with that really nicely. And this looks really nice. So let me just upload something there. So I've uploaded a funnel design that I did in Photoshop a while ago. So let's click continue. Oh, I can upload um, a cover image. There's just a random image I've just grabbed. It doesn't make any sense, but this is only for demo, right? So let's say traffic funnel. And then we can crop and continue. Let's do that. Okay, so now we've got a few options. Pri uh, project settings, basic info. How would we categorize this project? Let's have a look at that. So let's go branding. Let's just go advertising inside branding. Maybe let's go done tools used. Let's Let's go to display. Not much to do there. Discoverability. So I'm going to assume that this is really good for search engines. So project description. So I'm going to say, let's say traffic funnel drive or organic traffic to your site for free. And then digital marketing, blogging, can add up to 10 that's really generous and then if we click publish I'm not entirely sure I want to do that because I want to be respectful of this site and I don't want to publish anything just for the sake of publishing it uh, if this was a serious project I was working on then sure but at the moment I'm not going to publish this because uh, I don't think it's right I don't think it's ethical to publish it at the moment just for the sake of a link. So I want to want to publish something on here that is going to be of value to the community. That's really important. So as good as this is, and this is a really powerful traffic source, right? It is only one and we need multiple traffic sources to really grow a strong brand on the internet. So for that reason, I'm going to give you a 
a free training course when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic. That's going to show you how to get targeted traffic to your website for free. Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to get targeted website traffic today. And this is also going to be really good if you're trying to build an email list. So you're going to learn how to get email subscribers. I'm going to show you how to use it to rank better on Google. You're going to be able to build an audience with this. You're going to be able to funnel people into whatever platform that you are choosing to communicate with them so you can grow a brand on this platform too. So let's go to rank to traffic and you can decide for yourself if this platform today is worth it for you. So, so when we use this, we're going to be able to drive lots, I mean lots of targeted traffic to your website. So here we are in rank two traffic. As you can see, this platform was founded in 2006. It's been around a long time now and it's got a whole heap of authority. Look, look at how many employees it's got between 50 and 200 employees. It's a huge website. The global rank is 1000. The country rank is USA. Again, 1000. Enormous website. Look at the traffic overview. So it's got 50 million unique visitors every month. That's a lot of traffic. 48, 46, 52 million, 52 million unique visits every single month. So this is this looks like a really decent traffic source. If we have a look at traffic by country, we've got 15% from the USA, 8% from Brazil, 5% from Mexico, 3% from good old UK, and then 3% from Spain. So there we have a lot of really profitable traffic on this website. Let's have a look at the actual sources. 27% direct, 11% referral, a massive 54% from search engines, 5% from social. So what does this tell us? It tells us that a lot of the traffic on this platform is going to be organic. So because most of it comes from the USA, we know it's profitable. And we know most of it comes from search engines. So that means USA people, Americans are using search engines to find content on this website. And that is probably the most profitable traffic in the world. So if we go down to, uh, 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 yeah, let's have a look at the actual search traffic. So of that 54%, 99% is organic. Amazing. Let's double check things in where are we at rank two traffic so here you can see the growth over the last 10 years right down here 10 years ago it was getting 3 million visits a month still epic and as you can see things have increased steadily increased over the years up to 34 million unique visitors every single month what a traffic source then it dips down but it continues to climb it peaks in 2014 at 67 million visitors a month and then it drops down and then it seems after it dips down to around 40 million it increases slightly to around the 45 50 million mark and it's been pretty consistent since 2016 so for the last three years or so this is has been a pretty consistent traffic source in yeah, 40 million, 50 million visits. And if we have a look at the last six months, there you can see it has been pretty consistent. Drops down a little bit, increases at times. That's pretty nice. Really stable. So it tells us that this traffic source isn't going anywhere. So if we invest time into building an audience on this platform, we're going to be pretty sure that it's going to be around, you know, in three years, five years time. So it's probably worth invest in the time and energy to build in an audience on this platform and putting content on there that's going to pull people into our funnel. So let's check out the website itself. It is called issue.com. So it's I double S W dot com. <laughs> Let me say that again for the people on the podcast. I double S I S S U U dot com. <laughs> the W thing kind of through me there so 
This is a really nice website for content publishers, content marketers, because it allows us to upload PDFs, eBooks, magazines, that kind of thing. So let's have a look at what it says. If we scroll right down here to digital publishing on issue, whether you're just launching your first application or you've been at it for years, Issue provides the tools you need to get the audience you want. So we can build an audience on this platform too. It's really nice. So it allows us to upload a PDF of your publication to Issue and share it with the world. So it's got distribution and you can get a lot of exposure when you use this platform. I've used it a few times in some of my other businesses and I have been really pleased with the results. I'll give you an example. I uploaded one PDF and in about, yeah, the first 48 hours it had around 400 reads. So I, I was pretty impressed with that. If you imagine, I mean, I'm not established on the platform. I don't have a following, anything like that. I just uploaded one PDF one time and then I got 400 visits. The first 400 readers the first time I use it. I've uploaded more since then and it's done pretty well but but I've never had that that kind of big spike in such a short amount of time but you might have uh, really good results too with this so it lets us distribute our PDFs I'm going to give you some tips on writing creating PDFs in a minute but check this out it allows you to analyze your your uh, PDF so you can see where your readers are coming from and which pages they read the most see which which uh, pages they're sharing so there it says get close to your audience so you can really focus in and, and know exactly what your audience wants and this is of course targeted traffic then it has control features so create excuse me, create release schedules and you can control who sees your content fine tune in publication links and media so think about that we can put links inside our pdf so we can siphon traffic from this platform to our website or to our email list or to a sales page sales page if you want to do that i wouldn't i wouldn't really encourage you to do that i wouldn't suggest embedding affiliate links into uh, into documents so much try and capture leads that's how you really you're really going to build a business on the internet by doing that Check this out. It allows us to monetize so you can sell your your PDFs on here. So sell digital access to your magazines, both single issues and subscriptions. We love subscriptions because that means recurring monthly income. That's how you generate genuine, true passive income. And listen, I've got a whole course that's coming out soon about using affiliate offers to generate recurring monthly passive income. Stay tuned for that. If you're on the email list, then you're gonna you're probably already aware of what's coming, but that's coming out soon. I'll talk about it another time. It's gonna show you how to build a, a passive income machine based on affiliate marketing properly. I see a lot of people making mistakes. So have a look through these options: distribution, analysis, control, monetization. If you're happy with all that, we've got this button here. It says see publisher plans. Now, we're going to actually avoid signing up this way. I've got a different way, a different route for you onto this website. But we can have a look at publisher plans because they do have um, paid options. This, what I'm going to show you today is how to use it for free. So you don't have to spend anything. But maybe you do want to upgrade. Well, here you've got the basic entry level digital publishing for free we're going to use that we're not going to sign up through that button we're going to use a different button then they've got a starter option at 19 dollars premium 35 optimum 269 dollars and i'm not affiliated with this website i receive no commission for recommending it or talking about it i'm not an affiliate uh, i don't make I, i'm not being paid uh I have got good results with this on the free plan, so I think you might too. So if we're all happy with that, then we can go ahead and sign up. So if we go right up to the top, 
we click sign up and now it's got these really nice little integration things so we can sign up with Facebook or Gmail I'm going to go ahead and do that now I'm going to create a brand new account for this then it's asking me to accept the terms of service which I'm going to do do take the time to read these before you sign up I've already read them and I've accepted them on a previous account so I'm going to click accept and profile name let's go with profit copilot and then the URL is going to be profit copilot you might want to choose keywords that are relevant to your niche because this profile page is going to be indexed in Google then we click create account and now we're all signed up now we can go through oops we want to avoid going through that route don't we so we can go back to the home page and now you can see that things have slightly changed the layout was a little bit different and it's creating suggestions for me I'm not sure what the algorithm uh, how the algorithm works on this but anyway we're really interested in publishing aren't we so we've got a few options here so we can go to features create enhance share monetize or can organize teams we can read content so you might want to go through existing content on here see what's popular see what's working I mean for example if we go to the search by typing marketing we're going to get a whole heap of ebooks and digital magazines all about marketing and some of them have got a huge number of pages but some of them really don't have that many pages at all that one has got four pages and it's just a checklist so I'm going to give you a few tips about using this uh, platform in a in a second but there you can see we're, we're not really doing uh, any any heavy content creation in order to use this platform so let's go to publish and there you can upload a PDF so you can add content you can manage your publications there create stories look at stat, stats there so there it will tell you how many reads you've got how many impressions how many followers likes shares link outs and you can go deeper with the premium we don't need to do that and also I want you to pay attention to this so up at the top we've got a few options here so if we click on the, the icon to your actual profile so we've got public profile there but if we click on account settings here you will be able to add in your website address there so I'm going to go HTTPS profitcopilot.com slash traffic because I want people to get free website traffic and I'm going to click save changes and now if we go back to public profile that you can see there's a link to my website so that's pretty nice free backlink there if we go back to publish where we stats so we can click add content and then it's just a case of uploading your PDF to uh, to the platform it's really simple but let me give you a few tips so the first tip is know your end goal so before you even create your PDF think about what you want to achieve with that I would encourage you to build an email list no matter what your business model is because when you build an email list from the traffic you get that is traffic that you own and control so should issue vanish overnight should the website be sold or shut down doesn't really matter because you've still siphoned that traffic into a system that you have complete control over that you can you can direct traffic to anywhere you want once you have that email list in place it really is the most valuable asset you will build is an email list so know what your end result is 
So it might be lead gen, it could be to make sales, it could just to be, it could be to just get your content shared. It's simple as that. So bef before you upload anything, do your keyword research. Have a look at search volumes because this stuff is going to be ranked in Google. So you want to make sure that you can get it found on the search terms that people are actually looking for, but are not too competitive to make it make it too difficult to rank for for those key phrases. And listen, because you're publishing on a high authority website, the chances of you getting on the front page are going to be higher than on your own blog. So that's why we use websites like this. That's why we put content on websites like this and get it ranked because it's easier. And then we can siphon traffic that way. So know you know what your keywords are. Put your keywords in the actual document name. So maybe your PDF is called digital marketing dot PDF. That's that's a couple of keywords, right? Also, repurpose existing content. So don't bother going out creating brand new content for this. Take content that you already have, repurpose it, turn it into PDF uh, format, upload that uh, with the right keywords. Make sure that that you do have keywords running through that PDF document as well. And I know that some SEOs are they, they kind of debate about whether that actually works or not. But my thought is, is it going to do you any harm? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So it's probably going to help you more than anything. So, you know, and it's going to future proof you as well. So even if the algorithms are not looking at the actual content of PDF in that way, they might do at some point in the future. I really couldn't tell you if they do or not, but I do know that if you put in you you embed keywords throughout the the PDF, you're going to future proof pro, future proof yourself, and there's no harm in doing it, right? Also, put links in the PDF document. Make sure you you you're bringing that traffic to somewhere else. When you do that, use naked URLs. So that's like HTTPS www dot your website address, and then make sure that people know that that is clickable. So change the color, underline it in some way. And then finally embed these PDF documents on websites. So on your website, on other people, other people's websites, and that's going to send links to, to the document on this platform. So that's a strategy for you to help you get targeted traffic from this website now it is just one traffic source if we want to really grow on the internet we need lots of different traffic sources we need to diversify our traffic sources so for that reason i have got three brand new traffic methods i'm going to show you the traffic trickle down system that all massive websites are aware of and they use i'm going to show you how to do that how to position yourself for optimum traffic highly targeted traffic at that when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic. Grab that, it won't cost you a penny. Hey guys, I've got a brand new traffic source for you today. This is gonna show you how you can increase your website traffic for free. So let's go to SimilarWeb and you can decide for yourself if this is one for you. So it was founded in 2005, so it's been around quite a long time now. And if we have a look at the traffic rank uh, the global rank you'll see that it's 2700 which is huge the country rank is 911 that's massive this is one of the biggest websites on the planet if we scroll down to the traffic overview you will see that it gets from 28 million 28 million visits every single month down to 23 million visitors a month so an average of 25 million visitors, unique visitors every single month. That's crazy high. Let's see where these people are coming from. Look at this. So huge. That is crazy high. So 49% come from the United States, 6% from the UK, 5% from India, 
4% from Canada, 2% from Australia. Ideally, what we want to be seeing is in the top three percent, top three positions, sorry, is USA, UK and Canada. But, you know, this is still an amazing source of traffic when we factor everything in. So this tells us that it's most likely going to be profitable traffic, even though we've got some India traffic in there as well, which typically isn't that profitable. But it does have Canada and Australia in fourth and fifth. So it's still a really decent source of traffic. Let's go down to traffic sources. So direct traffic, 24% is direct, 5% from referrals. Look at this. 58% from search. You know this is really good for you, right? That's in terms of organic traffic, that's what we want to be seeing. So it's massive. 10% from social. So this looks really positive. Let's scroll down to search. So of that 58% of traffic that comes from search engines, 99% of that is organic with 0.3% paid. So this is really good for us because there is a high chance that some link juice is going to be passed, even if the links are no follow, which we're going to find out in a second. So let's go to rank two traffic. Let's see how things look on this site so we can decide if the traffic levels we're seeing are consistent. So over the last 10 years, here you can see 10 years ago, it was getting 1 million, almost 2 million, visits a month which is still epic right and then it just increases increases up to 18 million 35 million slight dip but that's a sign of success this dip you know you rise and you fall that's how it goes and then up to 56 million then there's a downtrend that's okay it goes up to 77 million climbs up to 88 million visitors a month imagine that 88 million and then there is this consistent downward trend over the last five years four years maybe and that's okay so maybe it starts even out around here over the last year or so time will tell but there you can see that at the moment it's getting around 23 25 million visits a month so imagine if you can get your content on the front page of this website in front of all those people okay sure it's not it's not 88 million visits a month but still 23 million you know we'll take it right <laughs> so let's see how things look over the last six months to see if it is fairly consistent and yeah i mean the high the high peak, it's not even a peak, is it? So 27 million, they're down to 23 million. So over the last three months, it is looks like it's slightly in decline, just, just ever so slightly. That's okay. We still want to be, be getting our content on here if possible. And I'm going to show you the best possible chance of doing that. So let's go to the website. This is Mashable.com. You've probably heard of this already. It's an enormous, really famous website. And I know you're probably thinking, Mashable, that's that's too high for me. You can't possibly get traffic from this, but you can. I've done it myself. I'm going to show you a little known way to, to contribute content to this site. Of course, it's up to the editors whether, whether they accept it or not, but they actually teach you, they show you how to craft content and how to position it so it increases your chance of publication. Give it a go. You never know. You, you might be really pleased with the results that you get. So here is the website. As you can see, it's got this big banner out here. Don't be fooled, friends. The, this is not content. This is actually a, a Google AdSense bad. Uh, bad. Was that a, a, a little slip there? <laughs> Ad. So... This is a Google AdSense ad and I've 
I've figured out a little trick to make this go away because there's no way to click it off and it is kind of it is kind of annoying because it dominates the screen so even if you scroll down look the advert is it's still in view so if you scroll right down it vanishes so if you want to scroll up a little bit and then just stop around there there you go Ad, adverts gone and you can focus on the actual content so what we're seeing here is obviously current information things that's happening right now people things that people are interested in at the moment lots of videos but look at this it's got a shop section so this tells us something that the traffic this site receives is buyer buying traffic they're buyers they've got money to spend so that's a good indication that when you siphon traffic from this site you can profit from that traffic good stuff right so let's have a look at the the kind of content so look at this so on the left hand side you've got what's new gifts for parents okay this is right up our street okay yeah it's not front and center it's not you know game of thrones level <laughs> interest but still this is pretty cool right so you've got some stuff on the side on the fringes of this site that we can really take advantage of let's let's have a look on that so gifts for parents now great gift ideas for your mom and dad so if you were to come up with a long tail key keyword phrase that's profitable this is a really good example right so what we're really interested in here let me get rid of that ad so what we're interested in here is all the links we're going to see if they link to other websites and if they're do follow or no follow links so all these links link to mashable so can't really check them but look on this page so here these are affiliate links right so they're just Amazon affiliate links. Let's scroll down. More gift ideas. Okay, if you give me a second, I'm going to find some content on here that links to other websites so we can verify what the, the status of the links are. Okay, that was easy. So this article, which is on the front page at the moment, so Google to serve up rival apps to Android users. As part of EU deal so let me just say that this could easily be the type of content we create and distribute online we could easily create a piece of content and put this kind of spin on it and then have links to our website it's not difficult to do so let's have a look at where these th this site is linking to so this is linking to PC mag that's linking to a blog post on Google again that's linking to PC mag and then extreme tech so let's have a look at the the actual link inspect inspect element and then there we have the code there's nothing there to indicate that that it's a no follow so this is a do follow link so that's going to pass enormous amounts of link juice because of the high authority of this website and other sites will pick up this article and portions of this article and distribute that and then your link profile is going to grow in a very natural organic way and pass tons and tons of link juice and traffic as well so how do you use this website well there's actually a secret way that you can contribute content to this website so let me show you so if you go to mashable.com slash submit you will get this form so we're going to spend a little bit of time talking about the best way to contribute content because it actually gives you 12 tips for getting your startup featured on mashable okay so if you've got a startup which i know you probably do it's going to show you, it's going to give you the information that you need to help you get featured on this website. How cool. It's pretty good, right? 
So before we get into the form, it says that it's a top source for news in social and digital media. That's us, technology and web culture. Again, that's us. With more than 40 million monthly page views, Mashable is the most prolific news site reporting breaking web news. Web news, that's, I mean, this is for us guys. Providing analysis of trends, reviewing new websites and services, and offering social media resources and guides. Mashable's audience includes, okay, this is, is where it gets really interesting. Early adopters, social media enthusiasts, entrepreneurs, hello, influencers, brands and corporations, marketing, PR and advertising agencies, Web 2.0 aficionados and technology journalists. Mashable is also popular with bloggers as well as Twitter and Facebook users and increasingly influential demographic. They're not wrong there. So as you can see, this is for us. I know that when you landed on, when I, I first showed you Mashable, you probably thought, what, 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 what are you doing, Mick? But there you can see that when we position things and we put the right spin on our content, this fits perfectly. So go ahead, check out those 12 tips for getting started, uh, getting your startup featured. And then it also tells you what not to do, which is really important too, right? So 12 tips for getting your startup featured on Mashable. This is the, the article. So if you can see, it, it just tells you exactly what you need to do. Pretty good stuff. So here is the form that you need to fill in. So obviously put your name, email address, phone number. I, I would encourage you to absolutely include your phone number because the editor might have additional questions that they want to ask you before featuring your content. So give them that information, your website, tell them the topic what's the scoop here you want to tell them what it is why it's important why it should why it matters to their audience so this is this is where you tell them how new it is how how they're getting almost like an exclusive insight here they're getting something that not on not everybody else is going to get but most importantly make it about their audience and why it matters to them, why it's important to their audience. And it lets you include images and files if you want to. And I would encourage you to fill in this, any other notes, take advantage of that. So fill that in, tell them again, in, in different words, why it matters, why their audience is going to eat this up without explicitly saying that. No, you have to you have to explain why. And then is is this regarding exclusive story, news update, hot tip, editorial suggestion, or other? So you just fill in whichever one, whichever ones, because you can, you know, tick multiple. I wouldn't recommend ticking them all, but certainly tick a couple if you want to. And then submit your content. It's going to be reviewed and then possibly featured, and they'll get back to you. On that, but listen, this is just one one source of traffic, and we need multiple sources to really grow a strong brand on the internet. So for that reason, I'm going to give you lots of traffic sources. You you, you got to see it. So go to profitcopilot.com/traffic. Get that. It's going to show you how to get targeted traffic to your to your website. Hey guys, here's some free website traffic for you. So we're gonna. Look at another free traffic source that you can use to promote your website for free. So this one was founded in 2007. And if we have a look at the similar web stats, you can see that the global rank is 16,000. The country rank United States is 7,000. If we have a look at the traffic overview, it's getting from the 5 million unique visitors a month down to 4 million unique visitors a month. So it's averaging about 4.24 million visitors every single month. That's a lot of people that we can promote your website to for free. So let's scroll down. Let's see where this traffic is coming from. So we can see that it is mostly from the United States, 34%. 5% from the UK, 
5% from the Netherlands, 4% from Germany, 4% from Spain. So this is looking pretty good. This is profitable traffic. And because the USA is number one, the biggest source of traffic for this platform, that tells us that we really want to be putting our content and using this traffic source to siphon some of that and redirect it to our own, which I'll show you how to do in a second. So let's go down to actual traffic sources. 70% is direct, which is unusual. We don't tend to see that very often. 2% from referrals. 6%, almost 7% from search, 18% from social media, 2% from mail, and 0.3% from display ads. So what this really tells us here is the website isn't performing that brilliant in, in, uh, in terms of percentage of traffic. It's not performing too well in search engines compared to direct traffic. So this is really interesting because it seems to be performing better on social media than search engine. So this tells us that the content on this website, which, which you want to put your content there too, it tells us that it has a shareability factor to it. So people are more likely to share your content on social media than Google is to find it and index it using this platform. So it's going to be very interesting when we when we check about the uh, backlink data. So we'll see if it's no follow or do follow when we get to that. So let's have a look at the actual search traffic. So of that 6%, almost 7%, 100% is organic. So that's good. But let's double check things in rank two traffic. So here you can see that over the last year, traffic has been in decline on this site. So up here, we've got almost 8 million visitors, visitors a month, excuse me. Oops, almost 8 million visitors a month. And it is decreasing pretty steadily over the course of 12 months down to 4 million. So it's almost, I mean, it's almost halved in the space of a year. So traffic is in decline. But if, we're, if we have a look over the last six months, you can see that there's this slight decrease. So it's gone from 5.15 million visitors, visitors a month down to 4.13 million visitors a month. So it's lost about a million visitors a month. So long term, I'm not sure where this site is going. I don't know what kind of traffic levels it will have. Maybe it will level out. Hopefully it does because, you know, we never like to see a website decrease in traffic, right? But right now, today, it's got 14, uh, 4 million, 4.13 million visits, visitors a month. So that's still a lot of people. And that's why I'm recommending this site to you today because today it's still a very viable source of traffic for us. Maybe in five years time, it might not be, but today it certainly is. So let's go check out the website. Let's start using it. And the website is called blogloving.com. So I'm going to have to spell this out for you if you're on the podcast. So it's B-L-O-G-L-O-V-I-N.com. So there's no G on the end. Okay. And if... If we go ahead and sign up so we can uh, use Facebook, it's got one of those social media integration thingies. So let's go ahead with that. Login failed. <laughs> oh, okay, there's a problem with that. So we're going to have to do it the old fashioned way. We're going to have to manually sign up. Okay, let me go ahead and do that. Okay, that was pretty easy. That was pretty straightforward, even though we had to do it the old fashioned way. So here we've got lots of options. So it says make uh, uh, block <laughs> make. Mc I was going to say make McLovin <laughs> make blog loving yours. So follow blogs to get more of the things you want in your feed. So let's go find blogs. 
So here we've got lots of different options, different types of blogs to follow. We can search for other blogs. So let's go marketing. Let's see what we got. Oh, this is nice. So we've got a whole bunch of tags that we can drill down into even further. So if we want specifically content marketing, which I know a lot of you guys do because you do things properly. So nice. We've got blogs to follow, top posts. If we go back a second, there we've got people to follow. So maybe if you get a bit of traction on this platform, people will follow you too. So we've got all oh, blogs, posts, tags, users. Let's have a look at users so we can see how other people are using this website. So Crystal Dove, let's have a look at what Crystal Dove is doing. So there you can see that Crystal Dove, is it Crystal Dove? Crystal Dove. I haven't had enough coffee today. My brain's not engaged. So we can see what this person is doing. Are they posting content on here? That's what I'm really looking for. So while we're, while we're here, actually, let's find some content that, that other people have posted on this site. So here, what's this one? This is Coco Kelly. Okay, if we click that, it's going to take us to someone else's website. So, okay, brilliant. So that takes us to this website. So it's someone else's, but it's got this blog loving banner at the top. So if we get rid of that, can we get rid of that? Yeah. And there we are. We're just on that person's website now without the uh, blog loving um, banner thing at the top. So that's nice. That's that's pretty cool. Now, let's check if it's a no follow or a do follow. This is it. And it looks like it's a no follow. That's okay. We need those two. That's fine. So let's go back to the home page. How do we start using this? How do you get your content on here? Because imagine if we go to the front page of this platform, which seems to be personalized. So I've personalized this for me. So there's lots of marketing stuff on here, as you can see. But we do have these featured posts at the sidebar there. And then we have also blogs you might like. So again, this is seems personalized to me. Social social media marketing. I love marketing. Kiss metrics. So web strategy. Yeah, this is all stuff I'm really interested in. So how do you get your stuff on here for people who are interested in your niche? Well, it's really simple. So go to the search bar and Oh, before you do this, check that your website isn't already indexed because when I was doing a bit of research into this, I actually tested or uh, checked for a couple of my other websites and lo and behold, they're already indexed. So yours might be too. But if, if they're not, then let me show you how to add it. So go to the search bar, go add blog, put in your website address, just like I'm doing here. So I'm going to put in profitcopilot.com, add blog. We're working on your request. This will just take a minute. So this is the first way to do it. I'm going to show you a second way how to do it in a second. So this seems to be taking a little while. Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So it is now indexed profitcopilot, the .com. Brilliant. Here's what I want you to do next. So we want to claim the blog. We want to make sure that that it is under your profile. Because if we go to your profile, so you see this little icon up here. Click that. Click profile. 
Then edit profile, edit your profile. Here, we don't have an option to add your website address. And really, we we will want to see something like that because even if we don't post on the platform, even if it doesn't give us traffic in in its search engine, we still want to be able to get a, a backlink to our website, right? So here, claim blog. Click that button, enter your blog URL. So I'm going to go uh, do, do, do profit copilot. There, it's found it. So now I have to paste this snippet code into a new blog post on my blog to claim it. So I'm going to paste that, uh, copy that code. It's just a link. Then we're going to go to your Word, your WordPress blog. I'm going to assume you're using WordPress. Doesn't really matter what your what CMS you're using, and we go to posts, add new post. I'm just going to call this test. Then we're going to add a block, but we want to add where is it? We want to add a HTML block. Let's go up here. Let's go to where is it? Formatting custom HTML. Make sure we're on the HTML tab. Paste in that, that code that you just paste, uh, copied. Then publish. Publish you, your document. Don't worry, we're going to delete it in a second. So we go back to blog loving. And then you'll be able to claim your blog that way. Now, we've also got another option here. We've got new post. So if we click that, you will be able to add content directly on this platform. So don't do anything that can be regarded or, or thought of as spam. Keep it all really clean. So give this a really strong title. So I'm just going to go example, example heading and then we can say something like um, I'm just going to paste in some some uh, content that I've already published I'm not going to use this any in any serious way then up here with the under the post button we can share this on Facebook share on Twitter or we can add tags so I'm going to add Marketing, content, marketing, website, traffic. And then I can click post like that. And now it is live on the website. So that could be a good way to, to get your content added on this platform. So if we go to, to your profile, you should be able to see that piece of content that you've added right there. And then we've got a few options here. So I can delete it if I want to. I'm going to delete that because it's a it's a repost. But there you go. Now, while this is a pretty decent source of traffic, you've seen that it's got 4 million visits a month. It is just one. And we need, we need an overall strategy to really grow in popularity and profit online. So I'm going to show you how to get unlimited targeted traffic sources to your website for free when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic and if you found this useful give it a thumbs up below subscribe to the channel too hit that little notification bell so you never miss an update from me and i will hopefully see you again in a couple of days time take care